Hey folks, Steve with Prima Coffee here. I've got a really exciting product to show you today. It is Baratza's Sete 270. It's their newest product line. Uh, this is a departure from their previous grinders, the previous uh, platform that might be familiar to you. And there's really a lot of exciting features to get to. So let's just jump right into it. Um, first thing you'll notice is that it's a very different profile from previous grinders where they would normally be a fairly vertical uh, grinder. Now we have this sort of Sete profile. And there's some really interesting things that are going on under the hood that kind of merit that profile that we'll get to in a little bit. But first, let's work our way from the top down here. Up top, I've got a 10 ounce shutoff hopper. This is standard with all the settees. Uh, if you are familiar with the Forte series, you've probably seen the shutoff hopper before. Very similar in design. It's uh, about the same capacity and works the same way. It just has this key in the back that you can turn open or closed. And that's really a great convenience feature if you're changing beans or just need to get inside to, uh, to clean it out a little bit. Now up front, like the Vario before it, we have uh, timed presets. We have three timed presets and then the ability to adjust the grind time as well as a, an on-demand feature where if you just hold down that play button for a few seconds, it will start to grind and actually count up for you. So if you're dialing in, that's a really great method. You just hold that button down figure out how long it takes to grind your dose, and then you can program that in. Now, if I want to change the time here, all I have to do is press up or down, and when you're below 10 seconds, you have an accuracy of one hundredth of a second. Above 10 seconds, it's just one tenth of a second. Uh, and to save a preset, all you need to do is hold the preset button down until the screen blinks, and then it's saved. So again, really easy, really quick to dial in and save your favorite recipes uh, or just grind uh, however much um, coffee you need, figure out what that time is, plug it right in, and save it for later. Now, down below, we have some brand new burrs. These are 40 millimeter stainless steel uh, conical burrs. And you might have noticed that I just took out the center cone burr rather than the ring burr that you might know or might be familiar with on the previous Baratas. There is an entirely new grinder drive mechanism in the sete. Uh, it's called the Etzinger Drive, and what it does is it actually spins the outer ring burr instead of the cone burr. The cone burr is fixed in place, and what that allows is a very unique straight-through grind path, meaning when the beans are ground, they fall directly down vertically into your container or your porter filter or what have you. Uh, that means that there's very few places for grinds to stay back and be retained in the grinder. The, the Sete series has very low grind retention on the order of a gram or less uh, in most cases. And that's really exciting for home users because if you're switching beans often or you just like to single dose uh, or you know, you're just conscious about how much coffee you're wasting, uh, the Sete is going to be a really great option for a low retention grinder. Um, and that Exynair mechanism also has a, a pretty interesting effect on the grind profile and the flavor profile that you get. It's a much more uniform grind and much more clear flavor profile in most drip brews and especially in espresso. Um, so again, very, very interesting grind mechanism, uh, really unique innovation in the grinder marketplace. And you really don't see something like this, especially that low retention uh, in many consumer grinders. So that's a really exciting feature to see. Now I'll just stick this back in. All I gotta do is push up and twist it back. Up front, you'll see we have 30 macro grind settings and then in a first for Barazza grinders, we also have a stepless micro adjustment. Uh, now it's hard to say exactly how many grind settings that means, but this stepless adjustment is really fantastic for the espresso range. And that's great because the Sete is primarily going to be a sort of finer range grinder. Uh, down at about a 5 to a 1 on the macro dial are going to be your espresso range settings. Baratza recommends starting at a 5E, so we have a little march, uh, notch here you can see. So a 5E is an E on the micro stepless adjustment. That's where they recommend starting for espresso. We found some good success in about a 3 uh, on, the, on the dial for a commercial sized espresso machine. Now, all the way at the 31 is more of a Chemex grind and not for a full, you know, liter or so batch. It's really going to be good for about half liter. Um, so that's kind of more like Kalita Wave 185 or, uh, like I said, a, a smaller Chemex, Chemex batch size. 
Um, this grinder is not calibratable like previous Barazza grinders. Now it might be a little bit of a disappointment, um, but it's it's not such a huge issue that we're not content to offer it to our customers. It just means that the, the grind range is overall a little bit restricted. It would not make a great French press grinder just because uh, that coarseness is really not available on the grind uh, adjustment right now. Now Barazza have talked about offering a new cone burr to access some more coarse settings. Um, there's no real hard news on when that will be available. We'd be happy to offer it to our customers, you know, when, when it does become available and we'll be happy to kind of look into it and let y'all know when it does become available, if it does. Um, but right now, out of the box, you're gonna get basically espresso to Chemex, um, and there's no means of taking that coarser, unfortunately. Now, uh, below the grind adjustment, we have a, another really cool feature. It is this adjustable uh, fork system. Uh, it comes with this grind bin, uh, which is, uses an anti-static plastic. Uh, fits right there neatly on the forks. You can even add a smaller V60 or Kalita Wave. Hang it right here with your filter in, grind directly into the filter. That works great. If you want to do espresso, all you have to do is push in on the right fork and rotate it down. Now you have your platform for your port filter. And then there's also this center fork which uh, swings out and locks into the center position. The center fork is adjustable uh, by height. There's a little screw here. All you have to do is loosen it, adjust this vertically, uh, to fit your portafilter as needed, and then lock the screw back in. Uh, we have it currently set for uh, our Slayer portafilter, which is the bottomless portafilter, so it's a little bit shallower. Um, Full-size spouted portafilter would probably have this set up a little bit higher. It will certainly accommodate something like a La Marzocco portafilter, uh, if you have like a Linea Mini at home or something like that, as well as a wide range of other commercial size portafilters. The forks are set a little bit wide for smaller portafilters, so a 49 millimeter might have some trouble staying there while it's grinding. Uh, 51 is also questionable. A 53 should work, um, so Breville owners, you should be in luck with, uh, with these forks. Now, Barasa have also already announced that they've uh, been producing some new sleeves for these forks, which have a, a little sort of nub, a, a partial platform on the bottom that you can rotate out to accommodate smaller port, uh, portafilter sizes. Uh, so that's great news. Uh, we're not quite sure when they'll be available, but they should be pretty soon. Um, so all you would need to do is remove the rubber here and put that new sleeve on uh, to put your portafilter on under the base and accommodate something as small as 49 millimeters. Uh, down below, we also have a little rubber mat for a grinds catch. Um, really great, easy to remove, uh, empty it out, rinse it off, dry it off, and you're all set. Now, let's talk about grind speed and noise. Um, we have found that the Sete is a decent bit louder than the previous grinders. In fact, I've got a Vario here. You can notice the noise difference right away if I turn this on. So here's the Vario grinding. Not too loud. And here's the sete. Neither of those grinders have coffee in them. Um, the sete is, like I said before, it's a little bit different in terms of the grind drive system. And that has caused a little bit more noise to be produced with this grinder than their previous ones. Um, inside here we have an offset motor and what's called a planetary drive system. And Pretty much what that means is there's uh, a few sort of plastic gear mechanisms inside that are going to contribute more noise as the grinder is uh, actually functioning and running. Um, it's also a plastic body design. There's a, a bit of empty airspace in here and that just means that vibrations aren't really being dampened at all, depending on what kind of surface that you have uh, the grinder set on. So it is going to be a louder grinder than previous models. Um, Grind speed, however, is fantastically fast. We have seen up to and even over seven grams per second uh, at coarser settings. And for espresso, you know, it wouldn't surprise us to see about five grams per second coming out of this grinder, even at a very fine uh, setting. Your results might vary, of course, based on the coffee that you're using and the grind setting that you're using. But uh, again, needless to say, those are very fast grind speeds. You're talking about an espresso dose in four to five seconds in many cases. 
uh, if you were to gram, say, 50 gram, or grind 50 grams of coffee, like I'm about to do, at perhaps a Kalita Wave single cup size, You'll see that it's complete in about 10 seconds. Uh, now, in terms of grind consistency, we've actually been very impressed. We have here a really decent medium grind with a few coarser pieces, which is expected towards the coarser end of the range here. Uh, in the cup, you see really great clarity of flavor with perhaps a little bit of muddying once you get to the very coarse side of things. So those Chemex brews might take on a slightly uh, muddy, dry flavor, depending on, again, the coffee that you're using. Um, but overall, we've been very impressed with the flavor, especially in those espresso settings. You get really fantastic extractions. It's very predictable, very easy to dial in, and the flavor is phenomenal. Um, so one question that we've seen a lot of uh, leading up to the release of the Sete is where it falls in Barazza's line. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to say because Unlike the Vario, it uses conical burrs, but price point wise, it's kind of creeping up on there. This is $380 retail. So when you compare the two, if you were to say use the uh, Sete um, out of the box and the Vario with steel burrs, which are a $50 additional upgrade, um, the flavor is similarly good and similar it's a similar quality uh, in the espresso range um, the vario i think takes the edge in terms of brewing flavor quality uh, when you're doing say like colita wave or even chemex brews v60s are pretty comparable between the two um, really it's not meant to be a progressional grinder uh, yes they have now dis uh, discontinued the preciso it's not meant to replace the Preciso, but more kind of take their, their grinders in a slightly new direction in terms of, again, that really low retention, that new grind drive mechanism, and a convertible system built right in for grinding either for drip or espresso. So if we had to say it fit in somewhere, it's pretty close to the Vario, but you might like the Vario better for certain things. We really love this grinder, and we couldn't be happier to offer it. So that is the Barazza Sete 270. Thanks so much for watching.